long time too. Yeah, you've, you've Justin, seen him. Justin's been playing since he was seven years old. It's amazing how your mind develops and you yeah. really become second nature with the plays. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so Will has eight island walking creatures. Eight creatures that give all of his other creatures island walk. Uh, Master of the Pearl Trident and Lord of Atlantis. Looks like uh, and Will gets his ideal start in an Aether Vial. A turn one Aether Vial. So Justin is hoping to get an Abrupt Decay. And let's see what he does. So suspending, suspending a vision. Yes. So trying to get it to the later game and generating some card advantage. And the thing about uh, Justin, Zach, uh, the bug deck, no basic lands. Right, uh, no basic lands. That he's going to have to suck it up against a... Back uh, to basics or something uh, like that. Is that wasteland in, uh, in Will's deck. Specifically, so uh, most Morphle decks uh, err on the greedy side and play four wastelands, four mutables, and only twelve islands. Right. Uh, Will's decided to be sh uh, safe. He wants to cast his double blue cards. Uh, he is playing fourteen islands, so only three wastelands, three mutables. And I think w once Will gets more lords on board, Justin doesn't have a board wipe, and I think it's going to get very difficult for him. He's going to be swinging at Will. Yes. Will's going to be swinging at Justin. Right, right. <laughs> so, uh, Foxy's from Justin. Uh, respond, uh, Will wants to respond with a activation of Aether Vial. Uh, Curse Catcher pops into play. Right. And you see uh, <clears throat> a Spell Pierce and a Force of Will. So that's great because the Force is no good without the Spell Pierce. He can't mm -hmm. take the land. And I guess Will knew he would have taken the Curse Catcher. Had he left it in place, so and he gets another lord. This is not going to go well. at the top of the deck. Uh, <laughs> Master of the Pearl Trident enters play for, well, and I think in his haste, Will forgets to play his Muta Vault. Right, he's, he misses a land drop, but, but yeah, I think Justin definitely has an uphill battle. Here. Oh yeah, Justin definitely uh, behind the ball definitely needs. Probably multiple abrupt decays. Yeah, multiple abrupt decays, and he can't block. I mean, there's nothing he can yes. do. Uh, the the Maelstrom Pulse is not going to be any good here. Yeah, the removal spells in Justin's deck are one Maelstrom Pulse and uh, the abrupt decays. four Abrupt Decays. That, that's it. Everything else is a blocker or a, a creature or some sort of card advantage. Or to get things out of the hand. It's too late for that. Yes. I actually can't there, imagine how he's going to pull this one off. Yeah, there's It'll one Abrupt amazing. Decay. Yeah. Uh, one abrupt. I think if he, if Justin plays abrupt decay this turn, abrupt decay next turn, it's pretty much over. Uh, and had Will remembered to put his muta vault in, he could be doing a lot more right now. Yeah. So abrupt decay will take out the master of the pearl trident. Uh, but still four damage coming across. Justin falls to seven. But even worse, Will draws another lord. Right. Makes it. Uh. This. Yeah. Is it possible that Will is holding back his Muta Vault because he sees the Wasteland? It's entirely, yeah, that's the realistic thing, because I, like, I don't think it's uh, terribly necessary. But, uh, oh, a you know what Boy, Justin can do? can't block. Uh, he, Justin could theoretically Wasteland his mm -hmm. own island. Okay. Uh, yes. It'd be an underground sea. And he will Unfortunately, he's still going to take lethal. He's only at five life. But that is a clever play that I didn't see at first. Uh, why isn't Justin conceding? But and he does exactly that. But I believe he's still taking lethal. Yep. Okay, let's look at the boards. Yep. So uh, uh, what is what is Justin going to bring in? He's down a game. He's going to bring in the two baleful Strix. Okay. To try to block. Uh, I'm trying to think if the Golgari charms are any good. Giving one, minus one, minus one is not uh, that spectacular. Right, most of the lords are have, dead. have two, two, and then once one's in play, uh, that could be... Possibly think, the Maelstrom Pulse. Yes, I think the Maelstrom Pulse is very good. Basically, if Will is able to keep a either a Lord of Atlantis or a Master of the Pearl Trident in play, right? Um, I think that basically Justin can't win, as long as... That's exactly right. Uh, one of them, but... Uh, now, so talk, I think anything... Let's talk about what he might take out. I know one of Justin's principles in playing these decks is he likes to board out his Force of Wills. 
if you're playing against decks which don't have like one big spell which can kill you. The okay. inherent card advantage to force of will. So I think there is a reasonable chance against a deck like Merfolk where it's not one spell you want to counter. You have to deal with multiple spells. He's probably going to board out the force of wills and put those okay. three cards in. That would be my uh, guess. On the flip side, uh, Aether Vial is so important mm -hmm. and that it's such a mana advantage. Sure. For Wizard, like Aether Vial is very important. Like may not be as important for um, a deck like Wills that can... Versus uh, Goblins or something. Yeah, because he's, he's only saving like two and three mana right. with his cards. But that could still be a big deal when, uh, you know, Justin ha like has the time to set up. Maybe he can set up some Jace, brainstorm a couple times. Like, every every turn that Justin gets is another takedown on an Ancestral Vision. Just uh, killing an uh, Aether Vial or if Will just doesn't draw one. Buys them a ton of time. I'm I like thought seize. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Out absolutely. of uh, Justice. Try Hubbard. to get the thought seize. So there's two thought seize in the main, two thought seize on the board. Like you said, you can bring up up to eight of them. Right. I, I like I like thought seize quite a bit. The thing about the force of will, I mean I would go back and forth on that one. If they if they resolve a vial, now you have a dead card in the hand. Yes. And if he only plays three, so having to rely on one port, you know, force mm -hmm. of will when your opponent has to play a turn one vial or something is pretty rough. Yes, force of will can be a, it can be a game saver or a game end, you know, a right. dead card. And so it, it fluctuates wildly. In we'll value. see. I'm going to guess that he is going to opt out against the force okay. of wills. That would be my guess, but right. I could be wrong. We might see one. You have more inside information than I do. But but we talk about that all the time. You know, I, just last week we were watching uh, Jerry Thompson on camera who plays the same deck. Yes. And he keeps his force of wills against. It was it was a matchup. I forget what it was, but it was at your uh, an event I was watching on camera. And I texted Justin. I said, I thought you told me to take the forces out against this matchup, and he was keeping them but, in. Yeah, different players play different ways, and they're not necessarily. I could see arguments for either sure. side, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you know this is right, this is wrong, right? Type of thing. So there, are, there are arguments for for force of will in and out in this particular matchup. Like in the mirror, it's absolutely right to take them out. Out, right? Yes. Or when, when he plays Rug Delver, he takes them. Yes, out. that was the matchup. In fact, I think Jerry was playing Rug Delver against Rug Delver, mm -hmm. and I saw it in his hand, and he kept them in. So there must be some argument for and against. Yeah. Rug Delver was one of the close ones as well because uh, both Rug Delver and Merfolk are the type of decks that want to tax your mana. Right. So you want something free. Sure. Uh, no, but that like. If you have a fetch land and they stifle it, oh yeah, you need something. You want something. Well, that is the inherent strategy with a rug delver deck. Is yes. to get something out early and then deny your opponent the opportunity to do everything. Right, and which force will kind of lets you fight that. Can, can fight through that. Yeah, which is exactly what makes rug delver yeah at a disadvantage. Not fun because yeah. if you don't get that early threat out and or you can't protect it, then you get to a late game like with a deck like this. You're just like, yeah. I played rug delver once yeah. uh, in an open, uh, twice, but one of the times. Uh, I in the finals. I made the finals and played a rug delver mirror. Right. And I in both games I lost. I ended without I mana sources. Exactly. <laughs> well, I see them piling again. Uh, Justin pop. took them all again. He took them all again. Yeah. yeah. And I believe uh, since Will's hand is still in front of him, he, he is going to keep seven. So on the play, he doesn't get to draw the first card. Down to six. This better be a pretty darn good six. Or. Mm -hmm. This is going to come to a close. Well, if you, one of the decks that uh, is very good at overcoming mulligans is this Shardless of course. bug deck. Uh, just capable of so much card advantage. Right, with the cascade effects. I mean, the trouble with the visions is it takes four turns for that it's, to happen. It's slow. A lot can happen in four yeah. turns. Yeah, as you saw last game, Justin really never got the chance to... Right. He suspended visions on turn one and didn't unsuspend it. Right. Nothing good can come out of that. I mean, he would need to turn one Deathrite Shaman, possibly turn two into a Shardless Agent, cascading into a Vision. That, no, that would be fantastic. That would be ideal. Short of that, going to six cards is going to be terrible. Yeah. Um, so I thought that's not a bad. good start. Yeah. Uh, he's not looking to trade cards. Looking to well, and this is a card that... You know, let Let's them see trade. what there is. A vial, which is a good target. A lord, a sour, sower, and lands. Well, uh, what would you take here if you were playing? I mean, that's a tough one. A vial without creatures isn't that good. I might, I might consider taking the lord. I might consider yeah. that. There, and he uh, does just, exactly that. Just agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. I think, uh, I think lord is a definite one. To, you can't. 
can't really win yeah, the game. If you, got, if you got a vial and you can't put anything in with your vial. Right. It'll be interesting to see uh, Will has an option between playing his vial and playing a wasteland. That is true. So, but he's gonna play the, for the vial. Up for the vial. Use wasteland as a temple play because when he uses the wasteland and his vial can take up, that's one more. Right. That's where you you can still put all get all your business in and your yes. opponent can. And you're, you're, yeah, you're denying. So, we didn't see what Will drew. However, he does have that sower in hand. He drew a uh, phantasm image. He did. Okay. And Justin does not. Well, that's gonna be good here. Justin does not have too many answers main or even post board to a sower. The abrupt decay, which is his main removal, is not gonna. To right, do uh, Maelstrom Pulse being being one of the main yeah. ones, or bouncing it with Jace. So Phantasmal Image comes down, copies the Tarmogoyf. Uh, abrupt Decay. Oh for, wow, uh, this Justin. is a difficult play because you can get rid of the Abrupt Decay, or I mean, get rid of the Tarmogoyf, the copy, or get rid of something more important. But he chooses to get rid of. Him. I guess he wants to get him on the tempo plan and yeah. just beat him down before anything else has to. Happen. One thing Justin is doing that I like a lot is he has not fetched an island. That is absolutely true. So there is no island walker. There's no island the... in play. There's no island walker yet. Right. But Justin there, and there's knows. no island in play. I think an ah, island's going to... This is going to be good. He's got Ooh, that's a, a good discard draw. spell. And he has a Maelstrom Pulse in hand. Yeah, he also has so, a Jace in hand. So to play oh. the Jace, he'll probably have to play a source of uh, an island. Right. But for now, he doesn't have to. Yeah, so Justin's two cards very both very, very, very powerful. Good. I mean, we have to anticipate that Will is hoping to vial in the Sower, steal the Tarmogoyf, and then mm -hmm. Justin is going to have an answer for that. Right. I don't think Will has a play. Like, I, so the Phantasmal Image has already been played. Okay. I believe if we're counting the uh, Tarmogoyf correctly, it should be a 4-5? Four, 4-5. Five. Four, five. Land Instant Sorcery Creature? Right. Landed. Yes, because the him to Turok was just oh, the thoughts he is as well as a. Okay. So you see, uh, you see the creature in the instant from Will, and then you see a verdant catacombs and a. So this is going to get worse now. He not only does not have another land, so the sower is going to become a. There he goes. He got it. That's <laughs> excellent. And he's attacked. Is, so Justin the, knows the mouse, um He knows the, the line. Temptation. He knows the line of play here, right? Yes. So he's not going to burn his. Uh, he's not going to burn his uh, maelstrom pulse, and then just lose his so Right. He so, wants to save the maelstrom pulse for the card that he otherwise really can't be. So Will drew the fourth island. He's mm -hmm. gonna, after taking. He's not going to play it. He's going to wait for the vial and uh, probably vial it in during Justin's attack step which Justin is fine with. He mm -hmm. will just get that back with his Maelstrom Pulse. So Justin drew another pretty good card, another Time of Life. Ah. So, uh, makes it difficult for Will to attack. Yeah, he can't uh, attack. Because it doesn't give Island Walk to himself. Right, just to the other Merfolk Right, so uh, Will uh, floating out a little bit. Looks like, uh, I think I just saw a Deathrite Shaman too, yeah. which will allow him to cast his Jace next turn, and this should be the game. Mm -hmm. I yeah. can't think of any outs Will is going to have right now. Yeah, another Sword Temptation doesn't quite do it because of the minus one ability on Jace. That's exactly right. Yeah. It will prevent the Tarmogoyf from attacking a turn, but other than that, uh, yeah, Justin locks it up. Pulled it off on a mulligan to six. Yeah, that's. I mean, he got some good card advantage, and basically he... Uh, Will drew a lot of extra lands, so basically he had a couple extra cards, but they're all lands, so it didn't really get extra like, cards. That's exactly right. And Justin had the best card uh, that stayed in play, the Time of Earth. And so to go over our sideboard plans again, I think I'm going to still stick by, he probably took out the Force of Will. Yeah. I didn't see those, and he brought in the Maelstrom Pulse, as we were saying, mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, Maelstrom Pulse is quite excellent when you need here. every piece of removal you can to get. get rid. And if they play things in multiples, which they sometimes <laughs> do, two of the same lord or something, that could yeah. be excellent. Well, Phantasmal Image... There you go. ...ensures, unless... Like, you saw Will copy the uh, Justin's Time of Life, but if... Usually, Will's copying one of his own lords. 
Maelstrom Pulse really punishes that line of play because you just target the original and you get the Phantasmal image with it. Right, you'd get both of them. Yeah, so but if of you course, if you, do it, if you do it in reverse, you don't get, you don't get, get it that way, right? The spell you, is countered because... You, yeah, you don't want to... You'd have to still uh, target the original. Right. And, and not, not the, the Phantasmal copy. image. So if you target the copy, then the spell will not resolve. You know, one interesting thing to point out, while Justin did win the second one, you have to play really tight with this deck in this matchup. You know, everything has to go pretty well for you. It is right, right, not right. easy. I would agree with that. Uh, I think Justin has, has, took, is taking a really uh, good strategy on trying really hard not to play islands. Right. And, and I'm going to give you an example. I mean, that sounds like a simple thing to say. you got to play tight. Who doesn't play tight? But against a deck like Rug Delver, if, you, if they don't resolve an early Delver and you can drag things on to the late mm -hmm. game... You and, can just gen generically execute your strategy. Right. Well, yeah, uh, in this matchup, generically executing... Is not going to get there. Right. So he needs to, yeah, find little extra edges. Like, I really like Justin's play of not playing playing the islands. That was really good. Right, too. And he does will not hesitate to uh, waste his own lands. Another uh, matchup that that becomes important in is the against the red burn matchups. Because Price it's, of very, progress. Yeah, it's very difficult for Justin's deck to beat Price of Progress. So if he ever gets that matchup, you'll see him play with minimal lands and keep the wastelands always ready mm -hmm. to try to uh, avoid that. Yeah. So from um, from Will's side, uh, he basically uh, wants to keep. I like any hand with one land and an aether vial. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you saw in game two he had four lands in an aether vial, which is really way too much mana for his deck. Just for the sake of discussion, presenting the counter argument though, from Will's point of view, he does not know Justin sides out his force of wills. So if you see a land with one land, and he doesn't even know that Justin is only playing three, he might assume yeah. that he is. If you see a land with one land and Aether Vial, you're pretty much all in on that. You've got to be worried about yes. Abrupt Decays, you've got to be worried about force of wills. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, if I was in Will's shoes, I might be afraid to do that. I might. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, you, you can draw, uh, you get to, you know, you can draw into another land sure. if that doesn't work. Sure. Uh, like two lands, Aether Vial, and no more for the rest of the game. Two islands, Aether Vial, what do you think and the rest of the colorless lands. Will sideboarding plan. Did we... <clears throat> uh, he had, like you saw the Star of Temptations. Uh, the other card is, uh, what could I have is Submerge. Submerge, absolutely. Which, I think most people know this, but for the viewers at home, the optimal time to submerge a creature is on a fetch, right? Yes, in response to a fetch, fetch. line. We did see uh, our previous match ended, so uh, one, the it was a junk player, a white, black, green deck. He only had white and black mana, no green, no forests. Right. So the uh, his opponent had to hard cast his submerge, oh. make it a totally lost. Right. Uh, to uh, get through his turn away for lethal. But so that was funny. He paid for the alternate casting cost of five okay. mana, <laughs> which you hardly ever see. Yeah. Well, now I, are we seeing a mulligan from the other side? Uh, I believe. So. I see. I thought I saw him draw six. We'll see him. So, Island and Curse Catcher from Will. Which is not the most amazing start. It's not a vial. So, yeah, but he's there going to protect his hand. Right, so, Master, I see all Lord of Atlantis. Uh, Let's see what we see a Jace in Justin's hand, a land, a Maelstrom Pulse, and the Deathrite Shaman obviously being good too. If you have to pay for Case ca Curse Catcher, that comes up too. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> now, to Justin's dismay, Will did not play two of the same Lord. Right. But they're effectively the same. Yeah, right. But Justin's <laughs> holding a well, Maelstrom Pulse. It right. Would be a lot he better really to see wants them to Lord be of actual Lord down. of Atlantis. Ah, uh, the joys of reprints. Is that. I, I, mean, I think I just saw a Liliana in his hand, too. My so guess on the just play all hands on would Jack be to. Uh, Oh. oh, just going with Maelstrom Pulse on the uh, the Murf Master of the Pearl Trident. Wow. Maybe I would have been wrong, but I would have thought playing the Liliana, making him sack a creature, and next turn he has to attack yes. into your Liliana, save some damage. Uh, I don't I don't see the Liliana. Let's see oh. the thing. Let's see a Jace, Tarmogoy, and three Tarmogoyfs, I believe. You're right. I'm tilting my head, and I'm not <laughs> seeing it. Okay, there you go. And why would he bring that Liliana in anyway? 
Well, Liliana would have been decent there be, simply because. <clears throat> so, um, Mero Regery for Will comes in. But, uh, Wasteland, Wasteland the draw is not going to be very good. It's not terrible. It lets him block uh, potentially. Like, I expect uh, Justin to get a uh, Bayou. Sure. Uh, he gets a Tropical Well, he has one of each. Those are the three different uh, non-basics he plays. So. Well, I want I wanted Justin to get a Bayou, then um, Wasteland his own Underground Sea, so that he only has one, uh, he doesn't have an island in play, and he can block the... Uh, with the Tarmogoy. Yeah, block with the Tarmogoys. But that's not the line uh, Justin took, and he's had a dangerous life total. Although the Lord of Atlantis itself does not have Island Walk Right, yet. so he can only attack with one of them. The Merrowreacher yeah. will come in for three, unblocked. Um, yep. So Good that also here. tells us something about Will's hand, that he's not holding another Lord right now. Either. Yes. Or he would have for sure played it. Yeah, he's probably not holding a Sower of Temptation. So this is actually potentially a very good... Uh, A good thing Chase, for, uh, and he's going to <coughs> probably. Let's see if I would imagine that uh, the Mirror Reader yeah. gets bounced. So, like this is such a. It's not a card advantage game anymore. It's a tempo game. And this is the other thing. When you're stabilizing, it's still important to take the beats when you can. He is getting in for the the damage on the turn. Right. So <laughs> yeah, Justin like, cannot cause cannot like kill everything before it wins. Right. And so, I, he's assuming Will's next play is to recast the Regery unless there's another Lord coming up. You always wonder, what could Will have? I believe Will has a Submerge, and he's waiting for an optimal time. Because you said the optimal time is you generally in response to a fetch. If it's a creature you want, dead forever, right. basically. What's that? Yeah, that's, that's two Submerges. Uh, if you're Justin, do you block with this Deathrite Shaman? Well, I Especially if it's coming at Jace. Yeah, if it's coming at Jace, I think you'd have to. If it's coming at him, I think he's going to take it. Sure, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. I think Will has another Submerge. So, uh, Justin could be in quite a bit of trouble. But he does have an active uh, Jace now. And he can play two spells. He can play his Baleful Strix and his Tarmogoy. Mm -hmm. Spell Snare, the response. Well, there you go. It helps to have more Tarmogoy. Yep. Uh, Justin thinking about whether or not he wants to attack. He does. Not knowing that the other Submerge is there, which is going to be it's, used against. It's going to be uh, increased to 4-5, Tarmogoy is. Uh, I believe that was our first instant, the uh, Submerge and the Spell Snare. Right. So pretty dead Aether uh, Vial drawn. But, but Will still, is it's still amazing with those two cards. Does he still have the submerge? Did we see that? I believe he does. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So a submerge and attacking to Jace is looking pretty good right mm -hmm. now. And that essentially time walks Justin again. Yeah, yeah Will on 13, that's three uh, three hits, or four hits from a time where not quite three. Right. Well, he can. If, if this one gets submerged, he'll hit with the... Yeah, he has to keep one up to block the Lord of Atlantis. And Jace is dead. So Justin is going to recast his Tarmogoyf, cast his Baleful Strix, and better hope yep. for something good. Yeah, he's going to get his racing shoes on. Uh, Baleful Strix being... Uh, actually, uh, Justin has lethal power in play. He has to get it through. And what do so I how, see? A, wow. A land? So of temptation, I believe. Ouch. Nope. I am I am a relic of progenitus. Which is also really, really strong. Which gets rid of all the graveyards and Tarmogoyf will become a zero one. Yep. Fantastic card. The, the relic also gets exiled. So Tarmogoyf is a zero one. I'm not sure that uh, if I'm if I'm Will, I'm not sure I would have done that there. Although maybe he's trying to draw. Mm. He is afraid card. of attacking into that Baleful Strix and losing his lord, so Justin will yes. take the three. Yes, that has Island Walk. Let's see, if he, if he has a spell he can cast. He has a... Shardless Agent. Let's see what he casts. And a Vision. That's pretty decent. One, two... 
Okay, so Brainstorm. Brainstorm is that. Uh, Deathrite Shaman and Golgari Charm. Yeah, he would, he cited that in. That's interesting to me. I don't see how giving creatures 1-1 one, one is that great. Yeah, me neither. Minus Very curious one, minus to see one. what uh, Justin's mindset. There are a couple one toughness creatures. There are Curse Catchers and Silver Gale Adepts. So, uh, Justin going to do a <clears throat> Brainstorm before combat damage to, to pump. To pump it, the Tarmogoy. Yeah. So, uh, Will's at four. Oh, he should have done it before. Yeah, and put the land in the graveyard. Put the land sure. makes him three. But it still is a very good land because it enables Deathrite Shaman. <clears throat> but we'll see what, uh, ooh, I think Will just got this one. What did he get? He drew a Mero Regery. Oh, no, no, that doesn't, that doesn't grant. It doesn't pump any. It doesn't uh, give Island Walk to the Lord to of the Lord. Land, So. So I actually think, uh, yeah, I think I mean, Justin still has a... Will's perspective. He doesn't know what Justin has. He has got to be afraid of all the cards that Justin has just seen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's Yeah, Ancestral Visions, Brainstorm, that's a ton you of know, new I'll cards. I'll tell you, in my last match where I lost to Show and Tell, all I, he had a Ley Line of Sanctity. All I had was a him and a Thought Season hand, but my opponent took six more turns to go off because he doesn't know that. Yeah. I'm holding four or five cards in hand. He's thinking he wants to get ready to okay. play around double So Silvergill Adept... Um, and that's the match. Wow, so Silver Gale adapts from Will. Draws into the Lord. Uh, draws into a Lord of Atlantis, which grants the other Lord of Atlantis already in play on the walk necessary to Give uh, get lethal the with. lethal damage. That's yeah. pretty incredible. That was but, a very close match. But like we were saying, the Merfolk deck, you want to play against islands, you want to island walk. Yeah, absolutely. And you just get overwhelmed. Yeah, uh, Merfolk really saw 